Hey guys, my name is Tash. I'm a veterinary nurse here at Veterinary Specialist Services and I'm going to chat to you today about how to give subcutaneous fluids to your dog. Uh, so first off what we're going to do is open our packaging. So there's little rip tabs at the top for these. Pull straight down. Open us up. Uh, so same with all of these, there's a little tab just at the top to make it nice and easy for us and a little opening there as well. All right, so now we've got our three main things that we need. Uh, so what we're gonna do is pull this one open just like that and this bottom part of our blue tab, we're just gonna pull off and twist. So what we wanna do now is keep this part here nice and clean. We don't wanna be touching that, putting it down on any surfaces. We're going to pick up the spiky end of our giving set. We're going to remove this cap, also keeping it nice and sterile and clean. So we can use our other hand just to pull straight away from us. Now the spiky end is going to go into our blue tab, keeping it nice and clean as we go. And we just give it a little gentle twist as we push in. Then what we can do is turn our bag upside down and we can give this little chamber a slight squeeze to fill with some of the fluid. So then what we want to do is flush our fluid from the bag all the way through this first line here. So I usually pop it on my shoulder, rest against my head so I can keep everything nice and clean. Again, we want all of this as clean and sterile as possible. We just give it a little flush so the fluid comes. We use our roller and clamp down so our fluid stops. We can then replace the cap just on the end, keeping that nice and clean and ready for the next set. So now that we've got that set, you may or may not receive one of these smaller giving sets with your pack. This can be used for a little bit more length and it may not always be required. However, we just attach it to the end of this one and flush the line through as well. In your pack, your vet will have chosen the appropriate sized needle for your pet. So what you'll do is take your needle and simply open the packaging, remembering to keep the attachment nice and clean and sterile as well. Then all we need to do is take our end of the fluids, keeping nice and clean, and twist on, and you're ready to go. So now what we're gonna do is show you how to prepare for the fluids. So what we wanna do is find a nice loose piece of skin, tend to that up, we wanna form a little V. And what we're gonna do is go right at the bottom of that V, just in the middle as well. So when we give our fluids at home, we don't always wanna stay in the same spot. If we're doing this regularly, or if there's a large amount of fluids, we wanna be able to find different locations over our pet so that we can distribute the fluid nice and evenly through a larger portion of their body. Today, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you up here near the scruff of the neck. So we've got a nice large tent here, just gonna go just in the bottom of this V between my fingers here. So what we wanna do is keep our needle nice and clean. We're gonna find the middle of our V and we're just going to go straight under and in. What we're gonna do now to start our fluids, we're gonna position and hold that needle securely in place. With our other hand, we're going to roll that ball back to the top. So that way our fluids are now running from our bag that's been hung, gravity down into our pet. Your vet will let you know approximately how much fluid to empty into your pet's subcutaneous space. If your pet's not comfortable with their fluids being given, it may be helpful to have a second person distracting them at the front, giving them a treat or maybe a pat. So once you've given the appropriate amount of fluids to your pet, what we're going to do then, again holding our needle securely, we can roll back down that ball and turn the fluids off. Then what we're going to do is pull the needle out nice and clean, just like that. And we will replace the cap so it's nice and secure. So when you've finished, what we wanna do is keep this nice and clean for the next time you need to give subcutaneous fluids to your pet. We will pop the needle back into a container to take to our vet so that it can be disposed of appropriately. So to keep this nice and clean, we're gonna replace the cap from our original packaging. Somewhere that you've uh, kept nice and clean and dry during the subcutaneous fluids. And now that's ready for storage for the next time that you need to give your pet subcutaneous fluids at home.
For every new bag of fluids that you need for your pet's subcutaneous fluids at home, we'll give you a new bag and the new set as well. So to store your fluids at home, you just need to keep these at room temperature out of direct sunlight. And if you have not used the full bag within one week, we advise going back to your vet and getting a new bag. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact your team at your local veterinary specialist services.